This episode is going to be shared at EXP Shareholders Summit in 2023. So we are at Rosen Shingle Creek in Orlando. I'm going to be here until pretty much Sunday morning. It's a long week. I think 7,000 agents are here from all over the world, actually. So tell me about the... F oh, she's not here. <laughs> Who are you talking to? I was going to say Georgette. This is actually the first event that I brought her assistant. Her name is Christina. So I, I know I can count on her because she's a doer. She will make sure that I'm where I need to go and taking care of and I get to eat and all of those. People taking pictures of you and I'm going to post it on our Facebook page. That's my friend page to say, I'm hanging out with my famous friend Zelda. I'm a part of the eight team this week. It's insane what social media can do. AI is a thing. It's here to stay. It's just like back in the day when the dot com era or the email era died. Just like like everything sometimes it's exciting and sometimes it's scary everything has two sides and so we're going to talk about ai and production and social media and how to use it as a realtor follow along see what it's like learn something new that you didn't know before and entrepreneurial life or realistic life better let's start the week the question of the day is i really feel super comfortable in my yoga pants today could i stay in my yoga pants or would, or should, I should say, should I, but real people close on. So I think that's it. We're gonna go see Veronica's place, then we go come back, and then we are going to X Camp. So X Camp is kind of like an open forum and people can just come in and somebody who's good at something is on stage and is kind of talking about it. People can ask questions, it's very interactive. And because our session for the AI agent, is sold out. We can only have 475 people in that room and I think 6,500 or 7,000 people are here. The rest of the people are not going to be able to come in so they want us to kind of do a small breakout session this morning where people can come and ask their questions who didn't get in to the bathroom. So would it be a big deal if I'm in my yoga pants? I wasn't really asking for a friend. You guys tell me or should I change? I don't know. Oh, I have an 11 o'clock. I need to reschedule. Shoot, I need my assistant, Christina. I need you here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Yeah. Let's on. They are going upstairs. And they are in a cafe low. When you're doing it early, it's a you know, powering news by sun service here. Um, we go to Zoom Studio. So she created a studio and uh, for like podcasting and social media posts and that kind of stuff. And she's so kind and invited all of us. So I'm taking a few Team Google people with me and you're gonna go create some content for us today. It's called cool. you have to be back for the meetings and stages and all that. So it's in the corner. Okay. You're a rock star, Felicity. Oh, I love that word. Ah. It's one of my favorite words. I call her a badass. I'm gonna call you rock star. Yes, you're always in the badass that. status. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited as you guys to meet you. Oh yeah, so you, you guys were talking about my uh, hiring and assistant skills? Yes. What did you uh, What did you say, Tina? Just how that you're very straightforward and you lay out the expectations. There's no bullshit. It, it's the deal. I don't have time to I mess around. Time to tell you something twice. Right. No, I have sent you a message. Veronica said. Oh yeah, she said I'm Jenny's going to play for you guys to the studio. Okay. Yeah, but you need to meet you need to meet the gun bombs. They're the one you may find them out. Oh not, yeah, yeah I'm right. the one. She said I'm not you first. I want you to make sure that you speak to this person before you go and come in. Hi, <laughs> good morning. I just wanted to show you guys, this is a prospecting room, right? So this actually connects to the other two spaces, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, this used to be our old studio, but now it is our pit, which is like intentional teamwork time where they get to, um, you know, focus on income producing activities. Okay. So it's a, it's a, in the other space is so co-working is so, it's such a vibe that you'll see later that it's a lot of socializing. This is like, like the down and into it, right? So it was a Tarotica shoot. 
take up the whole building already, but instead we just open up a new studio and I'll show you where you guys have been staying. Alright. Oh, Captain. Can you just with Oh, look at the towel. Let me show you the with the water. See her in those. So you can do like green walls or whatever it's called. Yeah, we do. Uh, we have the wall trash here. How are you? Good to see you too. You know. Yeah. Got it together nicely. We yeah, have this for the studio there. It's just traditional. I mean, so now I'm uh, access to you. Yeah. Okay. The idea is going to have multiple sets built in. Uh, that's going to be a set by corner. This is going to be a set. This is going to be a set. Well, you can sit down two people or four. You can sit here. I can have multiple cameras. I have my switcher nice. there. So once you get out of here, it's already edited. So that's the idea of this room. It's wow. a on the go. Ooh, mm -hmm. wow. So you have a, you have a, I'm so yeah, you have a video podcast and then a, either the audio separate so you can use it for whatever you want. You guys are going to talk down here and have some conversations about this trip. And you're going to make content today. Oh yeah. You're getting in there and we're making content. The camera's going to be on you. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, we did micro podcasting in studio. So, and kind of catching up one on one conversations, we were having a conversation and made, you know, 10 minute episode. Well, yeah, it was eight minutes. After this, it was Yeah, yeah. How long have you been in here? 12 years. You have team? Yes. For what? For agents of war. And do you globally? No, I'm in New York and New Jersey. Oh, you have a New York accent. I just, New York and New Jersey, I do both. Um, I'm right on the border, so you know, half an hour I can get to New Jersey, and anybody that can play some other type of in New York, I just need one over to Jersey. To Jersey. That's awesome. So, Veronica said, don't rush into that part, you know, because I went through the full application. I want to apply for an office. But when I said to Veronica, I'm jumping in, I'm doing the application, she said, before you do that, yeah, and you're coming to Sure Walters, I want you to sit down with Freeman. It fixes now that she doesn't have an office. For me, things that are long-term contracts, I don't love it because I don't know if two years from now I'm going to see less every year and it's still run as a waste. Right. So if there's a way that I can figure out how to do things um, for free, we're not trying to mostly technology because then you have to be that right? Yeah. If, you, if you're not using location, then then you're what are you so bad that's going to have things done, right? So in my case, it's technology. So mm -hmm. a little bit about me, I have a small team in Michigan, two agents. Okay. Um, we did 72 deals last year. I know about it. I've been in an office. I don't even have a feature. I am sure it's actually because I keep the transaction rate. Uh, I have a split 64 to 50 trip to the Penny to see what I site. Okay. And um, they get to work or whatever. We have a Monday meeting with me. I would have watched their needs and all three as you. I'm in Florida now and my tourism is showing. Okay. So I'm not even You're not even in the same state. Not even in the state, right? And so every Monday morning they have a meeting. I'm like, we um, they have our one class of other hangs. I don't know if you're away. No, but that's why we're having this conversation. So I have a ton of days. I have uh, probably 20, 24 of them in different capacity. Oh. Um, between my multiple businesses. Um, so that's another thing, right? I figured out how to do this without in late. No, I mean, I guess there is this mansion all now. <laughs> they're not, they're not even 1099 because I don't have to 1099 because they're not in the phone call. You can really do whatever you want, but I think you can have an office if you want to, not have an office if you don't want to. But you don't need one because you already have structured it. I guess that this is the reason why she said we should stick to her yeah. before I go in and jump in. So, yeah, walk the settings. Yeah, and you're going to rent a space for boo for you. Exactly. But then big from home. But if you are renting the space just to have a space in your room. Yeah, I took you a little bit. All right, well, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I all the great jobs. We have opened our doors to sky. I'm spelled spoiled. I won't be tired. Well, I'm not on the Ladies, I know you guys are the social media queen. <laughs> go, go, these people. Go, go, and other partners and my other friends. We got work to do. The result to hopefully, hopefully earning your freaking trust that you like, like us, help us. Well, what, yes, what's so good? I'm like a person. No, the world doesn't know you're not doing this sort of shit. So go right there. Yeah. Constant. Come on. Chop chop. Will you go home? Yeah, will you go into the love singers? Can we just talk? Oh, I, I totally, oh, totally welcome to Were our there? very first official live. Team Go Go podcast. I don't I didn't know you come to San Was it last year? Uh, yeah, I booked it yesterday. I'm like in South Miami. Yes, we yeah. did. 
pictures are so important. Pictures is what sells. Pictures is what allow you to build a brand so people can recognize you at the grocery store. So just like you schedule anything else for lead generation, schedule pictures into your calendar. I try to do pictures with my team or pictures for myself, probably quarterly. If you hire a good photographer, you are going to be able to have material for years. If you get 50, 100 pictures at one schedule, you're good. Like there's only 365 days in a year. So just schedule yourself for photography sessions. And if you happen to be in the Orlando area, or if you are willing to make a trip to Orlando, all you need to do is reach out to my friend Veronica. You're going to put the QR code right here on the screen for you. Scan it and schedule your photography session. I swear the photographers are amazing. I mean, look at these photos. You can see it for yourself. Have fun. That was also so better than that. Oh, like, found it the same living court. Was that like, oh, I'm having a photo shoot battle. <laughs> Did you know that you and me can be business partners? If you're a licensed agent or broker anywhere in the US or in 24 other countries, you have a chance. So here is the opportunity that I want to present to you. I want you to jump into my calendar. I want to have a heart to heart conversation with you about what's going on in your real estate career, how long you've been in it, what you have achieved, where you want to go, maybe you haven't achieved yet. And I can show you what the model is here at EXP, why I switched my business over to the company four years ago, how it changed my life, what I was able to achieve. And then in return, if you like what you see here, maybe you decide that you want to bring your business over to EXP and that would make you and me, if you chose me as your sponsor, be business partners. You will never, ever, ever owe me anything. You're never going to cut me a check. We don't owe each other anything, but we become business partners. So you, my knowledge and expertise in this industry is yours. You're going to have me as your business partner literally on speed dial. And my goal is to be able to help you. And in return, you help me. If you are maybe not happy at the brokerage that you are with, I want you to give me and EXP an opportunity. So all you need to do is jump into my calendar. The link is going to be somewhere below or maybe a QR code on the screen somewhere here. Click it, jump into my calendar and let's see what's going on in your career. Let's see if I can help you. And if I can, and you decide to bring over your brokerage to EXP, I would absolutely love that. I joined the company four years ago. Um, I started what we call a downline or organization at EXP here, Team GoGo organization. We call ourselves Team GoGo International Family of Agents because we are a family of agents. We train together, we refer to one another, we feed each other's families, right? We truly stick together like family. And this is the opportunity that I want to invite you to. I want to invite you to, to be a part of us. If this is something that you would like to do, if you would like to do real estate with us, the Team Go organization, the international family of agents, we would absolutely love to have you. All you need to do is jump into my calendar and the rest is history. We go from there. So hopefully you decide to join me. See you in my calendar. Sorry, and do here. So that's why I have next Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is actually the first event that I brought her assistant. Her name is Christina. I'm so like, I know I can count on her because she's a doer. She will make sure that I'm where I need to go and taking care of and I get to eat ten all of this. I can't work so AppScap is kind of like an open forum and people can just come in and somebody who's good at something is on stage and is kind of talking about it. People can ask questions. It's very interactive and kind of like can raise your hand, ask a question and get answered from an expert kind of situation. So because our session for the AI agent is sold out, so we can only have 475 people in that room. I think 7,000 people are here. The rest of the people are not going to be able to come in. So they want us to kind of do a small breakout session this morning where, or lunchtime-ish, where people can come and ask their questions who didn't get in to the bathroom. So I got a message this morning from Bat Silverman. Um, if I would like to attend with Seal, and of course, I would like to attend. 
Because AI is so many different things that they're using it as a marketing term now. Kind of like, okay, when you go to the grocery store and you get uh, natural eggs, you don't have to focus on a thousand different tools. You don't have to be an AI master. You need to put yourself in the right rooms with the right people. You're doing it right now to learn about the people who've already done the work for you, right? So you can condense time and say, okay, here are the two or three or four best AI tools that you could use so that you don't have to spend months and months researching, trying to figure out out of all the thousands of tools, which one to use. I would say the probably the most popular one, ChatGPT. Who's heard of ChatGPT? Hands up. The difference between ChatGPT and like Google, Google's a search engine where you're getting static results, right? You're gonna get a list of articles that might pertain to what you just typed in. ChatGPT and these LLMs have been, they've basically studied a massive amount of data so that it has a conversational response. So I could ask ChatGPT, like I were talking to Gogo, hey, how do I build a birdhouse? And Gogo's gonna tell me. Do I know? Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's not what it's gonna tell you. It's going to actually give you some by step instructions, maybe even a YouTube video to do what you want, but it's as good as your questions, right? So whatever you ask it, it's also, it's only a couple of years old, it's a baby. It's a toddler, really. So imagine if you had a three-year-old and you were asking it questions. Right, so you will also have to teach it, right? So if you wanted to know the answer about something, you can literally upload a direct link to it and just say, study this website or copy a whole blog, plug it in there and say, give me a three sentence version of this. So you have to teach it and you have to ask the right questions to give you the right answers. For an example, how many of you are using ChatGPT to write blog posts? I'd say that's a pretty popular one. Uh, how about property descriptions? A lot of us, right? So if you were to go in and say, hey, write me a property description for 123 Main Street, it's gonna give you information, but it might not be accurate, right? So the more you feed it, the better information you are going to get. So if you say, hey, look, you know, I want a property description for 123 Main Street. It has three beds, two baths, there's a really cool fireplace, like it's got a gazebo out. Like if you're giving it bullet points of information, and then you hit submit, it's going to give you really, really accurate data as opposed to if you're just like, hey, write me a property description for a three bedroom house, one, two, three Main Street, right? This can go for anything. This is for blog posts. The prompt that I use for blog posts is like this long. And I copy it, I paste it every single time because there's a huge difference in, hey, write me a blog about first time home buying process and keep it to 1500 words. That's fine, but if you can specifically tell it, okay, I want you to act as a master at SEO. My, what I'm wanting to accomplish with this blog is I wanna bring people who are potential customers who are gonna use me as an agent, right, to buy or sell their home. I wanna write this article about a first time mobile buying process so I can pick up new first time mobile buyers in my area. Oh, by the way, I live in this market. Keep it to this amount of words. I want this heading to be this. I want bullet points. I want to frequently ask questions at the end of the article. You hit submit on that, that is game-changing blog posts, not just, hey, write me a blog about blank. So while you put in the chat GPT, you're only going to get the results for what you put into it, right? It is a tool, and the tool is only as good as the person using the tool. A hammer is only as good as the person swinging the hammer, right? And so you have to be mindful on what you're putting into ChatGPT. AI isn't going to replace your job. That's the number one question I get from agents. Is it just gonna take over? AI is not going to take over your job, but an agent that utilizes AI will. Okay, AI is I would say AI is more of an assistant than it is artificial intelligence. It's almost like assistant uh, intelligence. Well, I started uh, my business on social media because I had nothing else. And social media is kind of technology, right? In order to figure out Instagram and Facebook and all the different buttons, right? I have to push the buttons and see what happens. 
Like none of us got any training on how to use any technology. You log in there, you push the buttons and see what happens. Really, it's, it's that simple. And so I, I always like to be not one step ahead, but at least keeping top of it where technology is going. And so when ChatGPT came about, I actually saw it by Glenn Sanford sharing it first. I was like, what's that? Right, and I downloaded it and I pushed the buttons. And um, so what I'm teaching to mind is, because I built my business on social media and I built a brand around myself, if I suddenly started speaking perfect English, you all would be like, that's not gonna go. Right, so we're literally taking all of my podcast posts um, and we are, what's the word, transcribing them? Yeah, transcribing them, because if you think about a podcast, is a sound, right? So you need to transcribe sound into letters, words. And then we're feeding those words back to ChatGPT so he can learn to talk like me. So then when my virtual assistant says, hey, can you write a blog post or an ad or an email, a lot of our emails are, are um, uh, written by ChatGPT pretty much, but I want it to sound like me, right? Because I can't lose a brand and I built so hard for three for 12 years and also building it with technology, it might just go faster than I was able to achieve the past five years. Now, one thing that I want to add on that you guys were talking about, I usually tell my chat GPT to put a little assessment and some emojis, okay? So that's like my thing. I'm like, just, just yeah, have a little edge to it and have emojis, so I add that in there. And then the goal initially, when I was like, okay, I need to use chat GPT, and the reason why we're starting feeding it, who I am and all my, podcasts and all the articles written about me because I already bought my book title a long, long time ago. I know I'm going to write a book and I know it's called Au Pair to Millionaire because I came as an au pair and uh, I'm going to feed it all year long and then in the end of the year, <laughs> yeah, in the end of the year, I'm going to ask it to write me a book, write my book. Of course, I'm going to edit it. Hopefully it sounds like my life, right? But uh, that's it, it can help you with all of those things. Give me the chapters, give me the description, and all I need to just kind of fill in the blank. So there's a million ways you can use it. And also, not just real estate, you want to think about time is money. So if it's going to take you, I don't know, an hour every Sunday to sit down and figure out this week's pre-planned meal menu, and you must be gluten free, it must take me less than 30 minutes to make, how much time will you save? So you just literally tell ChatGPT those things, and it's going to be a full week's menu in two seconds. You just saved yourself an hour. So think of all of the different things that you might not be tied to real estate, but if it saves us time, then now you can reinvest into real estate and how much more money would you make? I mean, I don't know how you're going to get other people's information, but you get your own, you teach it. Right, so I take all kinds of articles because originally when I sourced that chat GPT myself, Google myself, I'm sure there's gonna be a group for that soon, right? Uh, I was a ballerina once in South Africa. He was like, mm, no, she likes, right? Um, so all, all kinds of different information that he came up with. Then I was the agent in California, I'm like, this is closer, you're almost there, right? Agent in Michigan, not California. So if you teach it, if you take a couple articles or if you type it all in there, it's going to know who you are. Right? And the more information you give it about yourself, the more it's going to be able to tackle about you. Raise your hand if you rather be able to do, like literally see it right in front of you, what the heck you're talking about. Do you wanna do that? Okay, there we go. Because I'm visual, like you can talk about a concept all day long, I'm gonna get about 2% of it. If I push the button myself, oh, I see, okay. So go into your, uh, if you have Apple or Android, go into your stores and your phones right now. You go to Google, you put in ChatGPT, you're going to find a site. And you kind of have to save that site as an app on your phone. But in the meantime, just open it up. You're going to log in with your Gmail. It's a Google app, correct? Or you can create an account, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to with your Gmail, and it's going to give you access. Now, if too many people are downloading at the same time, you might get an error right now. If that's the case, just try it later. When you log in, you're going to see a chat box. That's where you type in your questions. If you type, if every time you log in, you type in the bottom chat box, it's gonna be a new chat every time. So if you thought it's something in another chat, it's not gonna know it in this chat. So I literally created a chat in mine that's called Google's voice. And that's the one that we feed every day. If you just need a random question information, you can put it in any chat, just put a new chat, continue on. But if you want to always use the yours that has your voice and your knowledge, you always have to go to your own. So create a chat, Leave it whatever you want in, and that's the chat that you use every time. So go to that website, click the chat box, now you see what we are talking about. Um, just, you know the saying is, uh, money is neutral, it just makes you more of who you are. Technology is neutral too, it just makes you more of who you are. 
So if this technology, technology gets into bad people's heads, they're going to do bad things. You probably have seen the video where a man gets a phone call. It's actually a, a Instagram um, reel. Man gets a phone call and it's her daughter's voice. He's like, mom, I'm in trouble. I got adopted. I need you to pay $20,000. I need you to meet these people here. And it's her daughter's voice. Guess where her daughter was? Upstairs in her room, listening to music. So think about it, for me, example, I have thousands of hours of me talking. Someone can go in there, download and give you a call and be like, hey, I'll go, go. Hey, I just started this new endeavor, this business endeavor. I want you to be an investor. I, wanna, I want you to invest, take grid. You're going to hear my voice, my funky little accent. You're like, watch you long enough. That sounds like Google, right? They can be, maybe even make you look like me and sound like me. So the question to you, um, Georgia, or the answer to Georgia's question is that yes, bad people are going to use it for bad things. Good people are going to use it for good things. And I think our government is also going to have to come out with some sort of a certification. Just like you have that blue check mark, right? They're going to have to have some sort of a certification, maybe your fingerprint, maybe your pupil, something that is tied to you, right? Just so it can be certified that yes, that is you. So just like this new technology is coming out, the new laws are going to have to come out too. But you have to think about this. Even if the United States comes up with laws, will it Russia, will it China, will it India, will it do at the same time as we do? We do agree on the same use as we do, or their rules will be the same as ours, or our rules will be the same as theirs. Technology reaches the globe. Right? So we were going to have to be very careful. And yes, there are going to be some scary things out there until we figure out how to um, certify each voice that makes sure on AI. This has been a great session. Phil, Rogo, thank you so much. Everybody, give it up for Chris. Give it up for Gogo. And we appreciate you guys so much. Um, can I feel this? Oh, actually, Phil. Hey, thank you. Oh, wow. I was not quite as much as McCall. Oh, you guys can do better. One, two, three. Leave it up for all of us. We can actually be able to go over here. We all turn around. We're going to do a self air one. Like, be another wave or something. Are you ready? Yeah. Day one was amazing. I got to spend some time with Paul. It's amazing. ESP agents. I love our family here. Like truly, I have met so many amazing people that I can link on. Oh my God, friend and Paul today and get to spend some quality time with the side. And one guy ready, got a little chill in the room. Um, a little chill time in the room because when I'm with people, as much as I love people, but I need to be and then I need to spend some time with myself. So I did that in the afternoon. People taking pictures of you, and I'm going to post it on our Facebook page, that's my friend page, who say, I'm hanging out with my famous friend, Zelda. I'm a part of the AC in this week. It's insane what social media can do. We got ready, went out to dinner with the people under, ready to gamma. First order, thank you so much. Bobby did this here. Some one eye to the back of your final And I should take some money. Thank you. And uh, dinner was amazing. The people were amazing. And from there, I had this kind of party animal, like, a little thought about myself. Nine or days are better off so I'm like, I'm going to bed. I like my sneeze better than any party I've ever attended. But we love Remy. Yeah, I was like, okay, we gotta go. Oh, good, look at it. Oh, my green almost goes with her green. Wow, you're yeah, matching. Right. In sleep hour at 11 30 because I'm speaking today. Like, I had a meeting this morning with the Alpha agents, which is the top 50 so ish agents in the company. And I'm like, I can't show them to that on right? Um, and so we did that. And I snuck out, I went to bed, woke up, was just to tackle the day. And you're about to go and speak AI. So that's day one. It's not easy to. Bye, guys. In the next Google Printer episode. So this is day two. You're about to talk in that room right there. He's following me around. And there's Christina, making sure that I am where I need to go on time. So, thanks girl.
Well, I learned to research technology as it's coming into life to understand do I want to use it, do I not want to use it. If I do use it, how is it affecting my lives? How can we use it for real estate and entrepreneurship? This is really what I do, what I do. I try to live my life by the cult. And it's a Zig Ziglar quote, and it says, you can have absolutely anything in life, the more people you help to get what they want. So if I can impact thousands and thousands, hopefully millions of people through my lifetime, I know God will provide for me. So I love nothing more than providing and sharing my knowledge and information and my resources. And then most importantly, meeting the people in person who I touch and then seeing the results in more lives. So go get and grow. You can do absolutely anything in life. For all the products and services featured in this episode, pause the show right now, scan the QR code, and I will see you on our website.